Hey guys, the view from here is amazing. Don't you just love taking a ride on this? But I bet you don't know who invented the Ferris wheel. The answer is in the name. Still don't know? Well then, here I go. Zoom in. A hundred years ago, the Eiffel Tower had recently been built in Paris and people were going gaga about this great wonder of engineering. In the city of Chicago, the World Fair was being organized and the man behind this was Daniel Burnham, a famous architect during that time. Inspired to compete, Daniel and his team wanted to beat the Eiffel Tower in popularity. You know how it feels, right? When you see a friend's project and you want yours to be better? <laughs> okay. So, Daniel called upon a meeting with architects and engineers and asked them to create a wonder better than the Eiffel Tower. The hero of our story was there too. A 33-year-old engineer from Illinois called George Washington Gale Ferris Jr. Phew, long name, huh? Quite a few people came to Daniel with ideas, but he did not really like any of them. Ferris was the only one who thought out of the box. Sitting at a restaurant, Ferris imagined a giant revolving bicycle wheel in the sky. Hmm, what an imaginative man, right? Ferris wanted people to see a view of their city from a height that was unimaginable. But it wasn't that easy to convince Daniel of this design. He thought of it as unsafe and rejected the idea. Now, Ferris wasn't the one to give up so easily. He was determined to find a way to design and build this wheel. After a lot of convincing, he managed to get investors to pay for the construction. Finally, Ferris collected $400,000 to build this massive ride. Different parts were manufactured in various cities and sent to Chicago. First, they built the foundation and erected two parallel towers. Then the wheel was placed between the pillars on a 45-ton axle with beams, spokes and iron rods to make it safe. Then, a steam engine was used to rotate the gigantic wheel and an air brake was also added in case the wheel needed to stop immediately. When it was complete, the ferris wheel stood 264 feet tall that held 36 passenger cars which carried more than 2,000 people at a time. Ferris and his wife were the first passengers along with the city's mayor. It was a grand affair and a 40-piece band played while they took their first ride on the ferris wheel. In just 19 weeks, over 1 million people queued up for the ride. They could not wait to see the city from such a magnificent height. News reporters were printing articles after articles raving about the beauty. Soon after the fair was over, a lot of imitations of the ferris wheel started popping up worldwide as it gained quick popularity. Sadly, Ferris got into a legal fight with the organizers and lost all his money. In 1896, at the age of 37, Ferris passed away in Pittsburgh. The Ferris wheel gave hope and gave way to many new technologies. Speaking of technologies, I have more for you. Trivia time! Did you know that the original Ferris wheel was also known as the Chicago wheel? 
the Ferris wheel earned $726,000, which turned into a profit of $395,000 for the company that commissioned it. The largest wheel in the world today is the High Roller, which stands 550 feet tall in Las Vegas. But wait, there is one wheel under construction in New York, which will be 630 feet tall. Now, go and ask your parents to take you on a Ferris wheel ride. I will come back with another amazing invention. Till then, Goodbye! Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!